In our previous presentation, Low Light Environments, we discussed how a flashlight can enhance our personal security in low light spaces. In this session, we will discuss the ideal attributes of the everyday carry flashlight, intended for personal security. While most commercially available flashlights are suitable for general household use, a light dedicated to everyday carry personal security requires a more specialized feature set. A light used for personal security and self-defense is like any other tool we may depend on. It must be designed for the intended task. It must be durable and reliable. And easy to use. Along with these attributes, the light should meet the following criteria. It should be powerful yet easy to carry. For effective use, the light should be capable of at least 500 lumens. For ease of carry, the light should be between 4 and 5 inches long, plus or minus a quarter inch. Lights much shorter than 4 inches can be difficult to grasp and control effectively. Lights much longer makes carrying them less convenient. The maximum bezel diameter of the light should not be significantly more than 1 inch. The weight of the light with batteries should ideally be 4 ounces or less, 5 ounces maximum. While larger and or heavier lights can produce greater output, they are not as suitable for everyday carry due to their size and weight. An everyday carry light for enhancing our situational awareness should provide maximum output with every press of the switch. Lights that require multiple presses of the switch to cycle through various output settings should be avoided, as well as most programmable lights that could be inadvertently programmed to provide anything other than maximum output when the switch is pressed. The light should be easy to use under stress. It should have a single, easily accessible on-off switch located at the rear of the light on the tail cap. It should have a simple user interface. Lights with multiple tail cap switches, additional control switches located elsewhere on the light, or a complicated user interface due to feature overload, are not ideal for personal security use. The light should have suitable ergonomics for the task. The preferred way to hold the light is with an ice pick grip, a comfortable and inconspicuous way to hold while walking with the light in hand, and that keeps it ready for immediate use. The tail cap switch should have a momentary non-latching function so that the switch can be partially pressed and held when light is needed, but will shut off as soon as the press is released. Being able to intuitively control the operation of the light in stressful situations is critical. When navigating a low-light environment, it is preferable to use the light only in short bursts. Briefly illuminate areas along your path of travel. Scan with the light in a wide arc from side to side. Avoid leaving the light on continuously, as that will clearly mark your path of travel to anyone watching. A light that can be quickly grasped with an ice pick hold without having to adjust the position of the light in hand for a secure and comfortable grip, is a top priority. Additionally, the tail cap design should allow easy access to momentary operation, while minimizing inadvertent latching to constant on. A semi-shrouded tail cap design is ideal. With the countless models of flashlights available today, it's astonishing how few are properly designed for self-defense and personal security use. Here are some of our top picks that that meet the criteria discussed in this presentation. Purchase links to these, and other recommended lights, can be found in the video description below. Detailed reviews of recommended everyday carry lights will be offered in future sessions. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the Personal Security Network using the link in the lower right corner of the screen to be notified of our latest content. As always, remain vigilant.